it's your girl sin back once again and today i'm gonna be sublimating on the large format printer so if you want to see what i'm gonna be sublimating make sure you stay tuned t-shirt welcome back big timers old timers and if this is your first time watching my videos welcome first timer today i'm going to be sublimating on a banner for the first time i'm going to actually show you the banner that i purchased from amazon and i wasn't going to film this video but i just was like you know what i've never done this before i don't really see any sublimation banner videos out there i couldn't even find the sublimation banner instructions so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be pressing at 400 degrees for 45 seconds. It says that it's made of polyester. If it starts to burn or something, I remove it, but I bought extra. So if it's an issue with that first one, I should be able to get it right the second time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, grab the banners and let you check out what I have. Here are the banners right here. And they actually come with some strings. I don't know. This string is more like ribbon, so I don't know how sturdy and stuff it would be. And, and I really don't know if these banners would be good to be like left outside. They are okay for outside because they are waterproof. But because of the, um, the you know, I don't believe they are really just made for being outside like a, for a full year. Like I feel like these banners would be good for like a party or something like that. So here is one of the banners right here. The one I have is two by four, two feet tall by four inches wide. And it's not exactly two by four, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the person. Like with my printer, I have a 24 inch printer. So it's good that it's not a full 24 inches because it cannot print the full 24 inches wide. So for me, it's going to be fine. I have the Epson F570 printer and, and I ended up having to print it out. This is actually the first thing I printed out right here, which didn't really come out right. So I ended up having to print it in two parts and hopefully it'll come out right. But we about to try it and see. I'm over here listening to um, Patrice's live stream, Craftable Things, her live stream right now. And I, you know, I don't have a whole bunch of space in here because I got stuff everywhere, but I'm going to try to make it do and move that box out the way. Slide this camera back for y'all. All right, I'm going to try to let y'all see what I'm doing. And I have already taped my banner down to this, um, my sheet right here. So what I am going to do is go ahead and flip it over. And it's really too, it's too long to go on my heat press, but we're going to try to make it work before i even do that let me see like right here i didn't even cut that part off i just folded it just to let y'all see that but before i even do that i'm gonna check the pressure on my press because i need the pressure to be hard i need deep pressure i said deep pressure i need firm pressure we're gonna tighten it up a little bit more it is pretty firm But we want this thing as much as we can. Okay, we think that's gonna be good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, slide this thing back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my banner and I'm gonna flip it upside down and hopefully I can get y'all on here. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to press about half of it and then we're going to go back and press the other half. And see what happens. I'm going to let y'all check it out. Oh, it's sliding off y'all it's sliding off I gotta slide it back on here all 
All right, we're going to slide it back under here. All right. I'm going to hold it this time. All right. Hopefully, hopefully we didn't mess this thing up, y'all. Let me go ahead and pull this all the way out. And we're going to flip it over. Woo. Flip that thing over. And we're going to go peel that thing off. Voila. Ah, oh, man. Y'all look at there. It's going to work. It's going to work, but I'm going to get a close up so y'all can see what I got. It came out good, but right here you can kind of see through there and also it must have kind of shifted as you see right here if you look at it you can kind of see let me put it on here good so it did kind of shift when it started to slide off of there like along this part right here and also i should have cut that part off because i don't know if y'all can see right there but it kind of came through that part kind of came through but we're gonna use it and I was kind of worried about the grooming. Like right here, it just left like a small little white area right there. As you see, it didn't leave too much. And on this side over here, yeah, it didn't do too bad with the grooming. Um, on this part, you can't really tell because of the design. It was white right here. So you can't really tell on that part. And on this part, you can't really tell too bad because it was light pink. So I'm going to just go ahead and hold this thing up so y'all can check it out. Right here, this is what it's looking like. The part where it kind of messed up at, right here, that's my fault. But this is what it's looking like. Yeah, and I think it came out nice. And it's actually, because I didn't even cut that back part off, it kind of printed a little bit on there but yeah that's what that's what it's looking like let me turn around that's what's looking right right here so that is how you do a custom sublimation banner and yeah it do need some refining but we're gonna use this one we still gonna use this one but i'm gonna do another one because i actually need three of these and then i'll probably just come back and let you guys see the end result of it y'all it's still it's still got this and this one actually was messed up a little bit more um, maybe I didn't line that up perfectly I don't know but we did kind of mess up a little bit more but we gonna get this thing right we gonna get this thing right y'all I did want to let y'all see this one came out perfect right here it came out perfect you can't even tell anything like how on this one it's got like a little white this one does not have that white i did look like i missed a little edge right there that's what it's looking like right here but hey it is readable it is legible so we gonna use it 
Thank you for watching. If you got value from my content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you are still watching and you have not subscribed, what is you doing? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you're interested in any of the products or equipment that I use, Make sure you check down below this video in the description box. I always leave links to the equipment and supplies that I use. And I appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next episode. But until then, be blessed.